Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect your Apple Pencil second generation to your iPad. So first of all, make sure that you do have the Apple Pencil 2 in your hands to check this. I'll compare it to the Apple Pencil 1. And the Apple Pencil 2 has this flat side and it has the Apple Pencil logo on that flat side. This is compared to the Apple Pencil 1, which we're seeing on screen. And you can see this Apple Pencil is completely curved and there's also a cap which pops off with a lightning pull. If you have the Apple Pencil 1, this tutorial is not for you. Check out my guide in the description and then check the timestamp down below in that video in order to help you connect your Apple Pencil 1 to your iPad. However, if you have the Apple Pencil 2, we also need to make sure that our iPad model is supported. So all we need to check is if the vertical bezels are the same thickness as the horizontal bezels. So for example, I have an older iPad right here and you can see these bezels are massive on the horizontal axes, but tiny on the vertical axes. This means that I will not be able to connect the Apple Pencil 2 to the iPad. However, if you have essentially the iPad Pro 2018 or newer, iPad Air 4 or newer, you'll be good to go with this tutorial. So all you need to do is get your iPad out and just check the sides. So you just wanna find this side right here where you have this black bar. So you can see that right here. If we go on the other side, you can see there's just a microphone port we want to find the black bar and then once we have the black bar we just want to find the flat side of our apple pencil and then plop it onto that black bar and it really is just that easy you can see the apple pencil has just connected to uh, my ipad pro now once you've connected there's a couple of things you need to know so first of all uh, how do we screenshot well we can just swipe up from the bottom right or the bottom left and you can see it will take a screenshot of our ipad screen now next, another thing you can do is, let's say I'm just gonna draw real quick. I'll make it larger so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna draw. And if we want to just erase a drawing, we can just double tap. So you can watch my finger. I just double tap and I don't think it worked that time. There we go. And you can see, now I can just erase what I just did. So just check the left hand side. When I double tap, it will switch between your last used tool and the eraser, which is pretty good, uh, darn cool. And um, I'm going to screw it up. And you can see, yeah, double tapping will switch. Now, the double tap isn't perfect. You saw earlier the first time it didn't work, but it's something you just have to get used to, and eventually you'll get pretty good at it. Next, if you're running iPadOS 14 or newer, you see in the search bar, you can actually use your Apple Pencil to type stuff. So let's just do, let's do hello. There we go. Actually registered the hello. That was a horrible, uh, you know, handwriting. But you can see I used my Apple Pencil to do that and it was completely recognized. Now, the Apple Pencil doesn't have a limited battery. So when you're done, just pop it at the top and it just lies there. And you can also see uh, the battery percent right there. And um, just keep it there, you know. <laughs> it stays firm. You can see I'm shaking and the Apple Pencil uh, does not fall off. It's not like the first generation where the only way to you know, plug it in is by pulling it in the side and it just looks weird. No, the Apple Pencil 2, uh, they did fix the issues with the Apple Pencil 1. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye bye.